welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport, Sean Murphy. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boo, he's been such a at the plate and it seems like every time he connects the ball is traveling out of the ballpark so when you have such a threat like that other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation so almost ready to get underway and on the mound in this one Spencer Strider singing he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all Leading four of his pitches. I mean, Miami. he can get by with three if hit. one isn't working, but Miami. it becomes a little tougher to They're keep like hitters three. guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. One ball, one strike. Get out of here, Marlin! And strike two. Got it by him for the day. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. First offering and it just misses. Strider. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. The pitch. Ball two. That's in there. That's strike two. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Left field, way back there. Out of here. Yuli Gurriel comes through, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off and up next for Miami Victor Victor Mesa first pitch and that's in for a strike how much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach I think it's very much being able to have a laser like focus slow everything down stay right in that moment pitch to pitch execution and focusing on that catcher's mitt kicks and fires I mean that's perfect location right on the black I mean over and over again this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots they're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And a pitch. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Brian De La Cruz. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. And a 
And that one fouled off. The pitch. Late swing, fouled off. Way outside, it's a ball and two strikes. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. One and two here. Next offering is outside. It's a good take. And it's filled up. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Back to work. 3-2 now. Hit hard. That gets through. He was all over That's that one. Bad. Just a cookie so down the middle. Better. I mean, those are the ones John. you dream about. The ones in the cage Birdie. you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. John Birdie at the plate. And the first one pitch ball. misses for ball one. Loriano off of first with two away. Come on, Brave. Let's go. And now oh. two and nothing. Upstairs. Oh. And a four pitch walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's Christian Arroyo. Three for 11 in the series coming in. Into center. Harris has a beat on it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back after this on the show. Back at Truist Park. Getting the nod in this one, Sandy Alcantara. And he comes in off a really nice season on the hill, Chris. NERA in the low twos last year, so consistent, so dependable. Talk about a skipper who's got a guy like that that's going to go out there and not just keep him in the ball game, but really give them an opportunity to win a ball game, even if it's a low scoring day for the offense. That's who he was last season. And if he's even close to that this year, I think they'll be really happy with his performance. Michael Harris, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The pitch. Out to short. Arroyo on the run. Throw to first. One up, one down. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And this offense is really clicking right now, Chris. That's a good feeling in that dugout over there. You feel like when you walk to the plate, you're going to get a knock. You're going to drive in a run. You're going to do something productive, even if it's just get a walk to keep the line moving. And that's a great feeling to have. They've got it bottled right now. Here's Orlando Arcia. A big game for him last night. He had four hits in that one. Ball one, no strikes. One ball. Alcantara, the reigning Cy Young Award winner, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That one finds the zone two and one now. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The wind of the pitch. That one okay. misses. Counts full three and two.
right hander kicks deals lined and that's a base hit makes the turn and heads for second and he starts his afternoon off right with a double everything came together for him that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make a pay Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Five for 13 in the series. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, I love the fact that he has a lot of fun playing the game and that rookie year an OPS of 917 just paving the way for what we think will be a Hall of Fame finish to his career. One and two now on Acuna spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Runner at second here, one gone. Fouls that off to the left, and will do it again. One, two now. And another ball. Incredibly, the Braves able to win the 2021 World Series without Acuna. He blew his knee out, tore his right ACL on July 10th, 2021 in Miami. He was done for the year, and the Braves still able to win it. That's the third. Rolls across the diamond, and Acuna retired. That is cool. The catcher. Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. That one the other way, brings it in for the third out. One left for Atlanta, they're down, one nothing. here at the ballpark second inning set to go the and the batter game. now Jake, Jake Berger Berger and a pitch if you're a guy that can only hit to one field then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust but because he's able to use the entire field that's why he's so successful in these situations and it's even up Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Oh. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. And the righty deals. Looking. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. No hits in the shutout last night. And he'll won. Top of the zone for a called strike. Oh, 
The 0 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The next offering misses. Now one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Jazz, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jr. now. First offering oh, misses the mark. And the slider catches the zone. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The 1 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Kelly left that change up up, got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. And a one two. Good job to fight that one off. Righty to the plate. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Acuna moving back. And forget it. That'll fire up the dugout, his fourth home run of the season. And they add to the lead, it's 2-0. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And now, Brian De La Cruz. Yeah. And there's a strike here, 98. The pitch. Swings and misses, and it's 0-2. Righty delivers. Swings and misses, struck him out. Marlins had another with the solo shot, and it's 2-zip. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the veteran first baseman, Matt Olson. Alcantara back to work. That clips the corner. That's hard hit in the line. And Olsen is set down, and there's one away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Austin Riley in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is down low. And there's a ball. And there's a The next pitch misses, 
And the count is filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And it's ball four. He missed down low. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. One down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Misses. Oh. And that's ball one. one oh. Riley at first, one gone. All right, here we go. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And the right hander deals. No. Two and one. That one fouled off. Two and two. At the belt and fires. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Three two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. One out and a runner at second. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Went deep in the ball game last night. On the ground, could be two to second pulls him off the bag a potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly that first baseman he's got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner which can really mess up a throw like that still definitely an error though so base is loaded with one away. Now it's the DH, Vaughn Grissom. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Strike two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One out, base is full. Out towards right center field, De La Cruz settles underneath it. He's got it. Runners tagging from second and third. A big run scores and the sack fly. And now they trail by one. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Michael Harris. And the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Now one, one ball, miss. One and now it's even up. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And 
And now two and two. Chases that one out of the zone. Huge strikeout there. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in Atlanta, Lead top half of the Miami. third inning. Now the it's Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel. Strider back to work. There's a strike. Gurriel handling the duties at first. 38 years old, and he took home a gold glove in 2021. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Got him looking, and that's the first out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. And that one is lifted in the air. Harris has a beat on it. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting the left fielder, Ramon Laureano. Here's Ramon Laureano. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Laureano batting in the cleanup spot, and they traded for him earlier this year. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball oh, one. Oh, okay. he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next one is off the plate, and the count is 2-0. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. And a foul ball makes the count 2-1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still. Well, oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The right-hander back to work. That's a little bit low. That pitch in for a strike. And now it's even one and one. On the ground right side. And that chance handled. Gets it to first. One up, one down. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Acuna in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind and the pitch. Out to short. Arroyo tosses to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now batting, catcher, John Murphy. So here's Murphy now. 0 for 1 so far. Murphy goes 6 feet, 3 inches, 230 pounds, and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last 10 games. On the ground to third. Zips it to first, and that'll do it. Braves go down quietly and they trail it here two to one. On to the fourth. Now here's the Marlins D.H. John Birdie. John 
birdie. And here it comes. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Here comes the 01. And ball one. And a ball in two strikes. Just off the inside edge. Ripped on the ground a second. Albies over to first in time. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now batting shortstop Christian Arroyo. And now the shortstop Christian Arroyo. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Arroyo started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went, says Dave Lawrence. The 0 1. To third, Riley. Whips it across. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now batting, third baseman, Jake. Two outs, Berger. bases empty. Here's some real power at the plate. Jake Berger. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, the last now 10 batting. games or so have been anything yeah. but fun at the plate for him, Boy, so man. that one has to feel good. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Two outs, runner at first. And now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. In there, and it's 0-1. And he chases a high fastball there. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. And the pitch. That takes low for ball one. Yeah, that's too high. Hey. Struck him out looking. The Marlins leave one, but they still lead it two to one. half of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Matt Olson. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Slider misses outside. Two count. Great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone. You'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Here comes a pitch. That one oh. missing inside. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And he walked him. 
It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Lined in the left center, should be extra bases. Here comes Olsen around third. He comes across to score, and the Braves tie it up. It's 2-2. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Marcelo Zuna getting ready to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Ball one, no strikes. What an out. No outs, runner on second. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Good hitters count the 2 0. And that's in for a strike. And that one clips the corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering is down low. Full and two. And he deals. And ball four, two aboard. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Yeah, there's the strike. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout, that could get the inning back under control on the mound. And it's 1 and 1. Way to lay off that pitch down. Riley, the lead runner at second. Ozuna at first with no outs. Next pitch is outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two-two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Next is the designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. A little bit high, and it's one and oh. Just off the outside part of the plate. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That to right, Dela Cruz sizes this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. 
That's out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but the bat. competitor like the him, he is eight. looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Harris. Michael Harris, next up for the Braves. And that's in for a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The 0 2. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I'll tell you what, everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way. I know I moved. Garcia up to bat next lays off for a ball to the right side Chisholm tosses to first play made that ends the inning the Braves add one on the RBI double and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now for the Marlins, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Chisholm Jr. The wide to kick the pitch. Way high with that one. 1-0. One and oh. And a foul ball left side. Check swing, but he went too far. One and two. Up the middle. Tosses to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Oh, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. So the batting order turns over. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. First offering oh. and it just misses. Outside. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Next offering upstairs. One down, base is empty. That's in there, and it's three and one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Guriel. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. The 0 1. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. That's out to center field. Harris has a beat on it. Calls it in, and there's two away. The center fielder, number two, Victor, Victor, Mesa. Victor, Victor, Mesa, the next up for the Marlins. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level.
And fouled off. De La Cruz leads off first with two down to the inning. And that one missing low. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Two and two. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Ozuna ranging after it. Drops into the glove, and that will end the inning. One left for Miami. Score remains 2-2. No ifs, ands, or maybe. Don't let drama phase me. See on my grind heavy for my babies. Back at Truist Park, and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. The right field. Ronald Acuna. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. Now one and one. One and one. The one two keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking at bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long. time through the order and this is where we see the OPS jump up manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated Sean Murphy next up for the Braves outfield playing very deep not wanting anything over their heads pitch is in there that's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And a pitch. Runner takes off for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. When a guy's got that kind of lead at second base, somebody's got to call a timeout. Pitcher's got to step off. The catcher's got to ask the ump for time or something. You can't let him get out that far when you don't have a good throw behind the plate. He's going to steal third almost standing up. That's a really good job of being aggressive by the base runner. Next one misses. And the count one and two. the wall with two strikes but found a way that's about as textbook as it gets got his strike load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee no outs runner at first Matt Olson up to the plate and that one just misses a ball and no strikes That's inside. 2-0 oh. count to a guy like this at the plate. 
you've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Left hand hitter waits. That one pushed foul. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next one just misses. And the count's full. Kicks and fires. That one to first. And it stays fair. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Sandy Alcantara won't go any further, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. Now on the bump, Davey Garcia. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Here's Austin Riley. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one hammered, but pulled foul. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Swing and a miss. One and two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Next offering way upstairs. That's towards center. Mesa under it. He makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And they take a two-run lead. Bat got the job done. Here's the big power threat. Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a tapper. Garcia to second. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. Swarm and they jump ahead. Five innings complete. It's the Braves four and the Marlins two. Back here at the ballpark. Top six. Loriano comes up to hit. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. First pitch just misses. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Pierce Johnson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Hand getting cranked up as well. In for a strike. And a count one and one. One strike. Breaking ball gets the corner for a strike.
Here's a one-two. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Here's a speed threat. John Birdie. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. There's a strike. One and one. Next offering is foul back. A little tardy on that fastball. is going to have to get going a little quick. Get that front foot down. The pitch. Popped up. Riley drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Well, oh, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss now or weak contact. Christian. Arroyo, 27 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Arroyo, oh. the next to hit, takes outside. You want to be okay. patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle, and with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ballgame. Two outs. Hey. And that's oh. outside. Two balls, two strikes. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. That one off the mark, and the count's full. Jake Berger, hoping for a chance he would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boog, plenty of power in that bat. They'd love to give him a shot here. And that's Thank ball you, four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. So a man aboard. And now Jake Berger. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. There's the swing and a miss. Doubled up on the slider away. Two-seamer here. Let's watch and see. Arroyo, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering misses. Two and one. Line drive, base hit, right field. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here comes the manager out of the Braves dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Spencer Strider will depart, just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. A new arm into the game, the righty, Colin McHugh. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And here is Nick Fortes, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Now. 
Right handed reliever. And a foul ball. First and second, two down. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. The Braves' pen comes through in fine fashion. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Braves' four and the Marlins' two. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Ozzy Albies. Of the pitch. Way high. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, with the way the game's expanding, that can be very helpful. Those meetings at the mound. Ozzy Albies, he can uh, translate for everyone. There's the strike. Next offering is downstairs. And a pitch. That one just missing inside. Full count now. Right-hander kicks, deals. Stays alive. The pitch. He goes down looking. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a that but just not right there strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves first offering misses the mark Garcia goes five feet nine inches he features a four seam fastball a change up a curve and he works in a slider the pitch on the ground to short, knocked it down. Looked to me like he kind of let the ball play him instead of playing the ball, and it just ate him off. The hands get stiff, and even the best infielders make these kinds of mistakes. You just have to learn from it and move on. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup, and stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris. And that's in there for strike one. Watch the DP. Left hand batter waits. And that's in the dirt. High fly ball, right field. De La Cruz makes the grab, two down. The batter number 11, Tristan Orlando Arcia. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia, one for three. for a strike and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Here's the 0-1. 
And that oh. one just missed off the outside edge. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Two balls, That's two strikes ball. to count with two outs. Two On the ground, right side. In time to Guriel. Out number three. So no runs, no hits, and one error, but they leave him stranded. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Braves four and the Marlins two. And a pitch. That one That's drifts inside. Fouled off to the right. Righty delivers. That one inside. Now two balls and a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. That one ripped. That's back. Lead off double to start to seven. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Brian De La Cruz. In there for strike one. Runner at second, nobody out. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. And another ball. And that's a fair ball. And that'll kick off the base of the wall. In comes the run from second. And they trail by one. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch. And that's how you do it. And at the plate for Miami, Yuli Gurriel. He's already homered in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. De La Cruz gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. Just missed. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Kicks and deals. And a swing to miss. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Two, two. 
Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, you're just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy. That was nice. New pitcher for the Braves, Pierce Johnson. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 76. Pierce Johnson. Here's the center fielder, Victor Victor Mesa. First offering in the dirt. That's down and in. Two balls, no strike. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two down, nobody on. Nope. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. there at the knees and that is strike two the tying run at the plate and there's ball four one of the things about that two out walk the base runner yeah, over man. at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary yeah, lead so a ball down the line yeah, yeah into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it Loriano stands in now and watches strike one go with the tie and run at first base he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on drive it into a gap and score that run from first base There's the strike up high, and it's nothing in two. Next offering is foul back. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. He got that front foot down and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Now at the plate, John Birdie. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, at the belt and fires. Misses off the play. And it's a ball and a strike. In the air right carrying bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab but they pick up one run on the RBI single it's now a 4-3 ball game it's Major League Baseball and it's on the show we're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh Anthony Bender Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. 
Here's Acuna now. Really good piece of hitting last time. Go to the opposite field. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. That's in there, and that's strike one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. A solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's going to be Sean Murphy. They say he went. Throw to first. Acuna dives back in. Back over to first. And he's back in that time as well. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch misses. And that's ball one. Big swing and a miss. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And the righty deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now Matt Olson up to hit. One for two. Off the mark there. Ball one. A little out front there as he swings through it. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Acuna, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Pickoff throw. Acuna dives back in. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. And the pitch. Up and in. Two balls, two strikes. One run game, one out, one on. The pitch. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Mesa makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Next up for the Braves. Fought off foul. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Next.
Hines pitches downstairs. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Got him swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Braves strand one, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. I remember as a child, music made me smile. Some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff, because I think they call it rock and roll. But I said... New pitcher now. to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Here's the shortstop at the play. Christian Arroyo. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. Going one. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Rysel Iglesias, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. Good eye right there. Looking to get the tying run on base. And it's even up. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball and the bottom just falls out of it. Riding to the plate. And downstairs. Jake Berger in the on-deck circle. Swing and a ball popped up, and that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was an important yeah, at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Looks like we've got a substitution at first, and on to run for Miami, Garrett Hampson. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. There's a strike. Yates over to first. Hampson dives back in safely. Tap to first, Olsen. Acrobatic throw for one, over to first, but it's offline. Well, that was gonna be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Reese McGuire. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. That misses the zone, and it's one to know. Oh, 
kicks and fires. Ground ball to first, could be two. Over to Arcia, that's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Braves four and the Marlins three. So coming into the game now on defense, Garrett Hampson. He's in at shortstop. Number also one. entering the game, Garrett. Reese McGuire. He Hampson. takes over behind the plate. Now catching, number eight, Reese. A.J. Puck into McGuire. the game. Now he last pitched two days one. ago. Number 35, A.J. Puck. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. Infield playing him to pull. Second baseman just to the right of the bag. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty pitch misses there. And one and one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Loriano going back. Looking up. was smoked he knew he had to get back to the track right away turned his back on the infield got to the spot turned around and made a nice catch all these batting with one down takes a strike and a pitch and a foul ball. And a pitch. Albies tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. The one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And now the count is even. And here it comes. And now it's three and two. Punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Grissom in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And the 1 0. Just oh, off the inside edge. Next pitch is outside. A 
Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And it goes just foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Grissom off of first with two away. And now it's even up. That one is upstairs. Well struck right. Grissom around third. Chisholm with a relay home. The tag and that's out number three inning over. One left for Atlanta. And it remains a 4-3 game. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. He's pitching on two days rest. Here's the second baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left field. And there's one down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Back to the top of the Miami order. Now it's the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. First offering, and it just misses. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Next offering is in for a strike. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Jack swing went around. One and two. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first. And the Marlins with just one out left. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And up next for Miami, Yuli Gurriel. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and he just misses. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Just missed. That misses. And the count is three and one. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. Guriel checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Nope, he held back. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's the center fielder, Victor Victor Mesa. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. 
Pitch misses outside. Ball one. And a strike in there. The pitch. Late with the swing there. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Misses off the inside. Two balls, two strikes. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. Just one strike away. Foul, we'll see another payoff pitch. Is just one strike away. Lifted in the air, right field. Acuna after it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left 10 men off.